Welcome back, Sentinels, to another episode of SCTV. My name is Benjamin Leach. And I'm McKinley lutz -Adlock. Spring sports have officially started. Make sure to come out and support your Sentinels in track and field, tennis, boys volleyball, softball, and baseball. We have some fine arts nights coming up. An instrumental night is tonight, February 25th, and dance, choir, and drama will be performing on March 3rd. Progress reports are being issued on February 29th, so make sure to stay on top of your grades. Our Sadie Hawkins dance is a little over two weeks away. Tickets go on sale March 7th in A3 and are $5 presale and $10 at the door. Seton's beloved DJ Z Mag will be there, so come dress casually for a fun night of March Madness. Our Father's Mass will be on Wednesday, March 9th. Rice bowls have been placed in most classrooms, so be sure to donate some spare change to those in need during this Lenten season. Our annual Lenten Reconciliation will be held on Wednesday, March 2nd. Entries for the film festival are due to Mr. Four on March 3rd, so if you think of yourself as an amateur film director, make sure to turn in your movie. And now here's our interview team with some of Seton's cutest couples. So, Mac and Alex, how long have you guys been together? Um, like almost four months. About five seconds. Yeah. Um, about three months. Almost three years. Wow. Okay, that's actually a long time, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys do for Valentine's Day? Uh, we actually went up to Canada. Yeah, and we went ice skating on a lake, and then we went out for dinner. That's sweet. Oh, I think we jumped on the trampoline a couple of times. Oh, yeah. That was neat. It was like bouncy. Uh, we went and uh, got some pizza. Um, we recreated our first date and went yeah. stargazing at a golf course. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Did he get you anything? A calendar. With anything special on it? Cupcakes. <laughs> oh, so sweet. If you were to do anything with me on Valentine's Day, which we didn't do, what would you have done? You know, just you, me, couple memes, uh, what else would a woman want, you know? So what is love to you? Love is when you never get sick of the other person. Pass. Love is when you can talk about memes without being judged. Sincere gift of self. Thank you, Ms. Kubisak. Uh, definitely Lauren and Ben. I mean, they truly, uh, impersonate and define love and, and capture it uh, into two people. I, it's, it's truly just like honestly amazing. Um, love is when she brings you hot chocolate without having to ask for it. <laughs> love is trust. Oh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Seton Catholic Sports Center. I'm John Engelbert. And I'm Cam Beatty. And we're bringing you the latest news in Seton Catholic sports. We're out here sitting in the new dugout of the baseball field. Speaking of baseball, Cam, how's the baseball team going to be this year? We actually look pretty good, John. We just got our new coach, Coach Stevenson, as you probably know. Along with our captains, Blake Newman, Cole Dorsey, and Matthew Bresnan, we look to stay fired up all the time and have ourselves a great season. We actually had our first scrimmage on Saturday against Mesquite, last year's Division I champion. And we only lost 7-6. to six. It was a valiant effort in that game. Very nice. Also, softball gets underway. The captain, Mackenzie Budinger, looks to lead the Sentinels for a good season. And now let's send it back to the studio. Other spring sports got underway as well. Track and field, highlighted by Luke Zulawaga and Brandon Garcia, kick off their season with a meet on February 24th. Men's volleyball kicks off their season on March 1st with a game against Ironwood. John Engelbert and Drew Betlock lead the Sentinels in their first season in Division II as they look to make a push at a state title. We have an update on basketball. Both the girls and boys made the state playoffs. The boys won their first round game against Higley. This was their first playoff win in the last six years. Unfortunately, they lost their second round game against Sunnyside, Sunnyside but they still had a great season. Great job, boys. And the girls are still rolling in the state playoffs after their second round win over Desert Mountain. They are now in the quarterfinals facing Maricopa, and the rest of their games are at Gila River Arena. Good luck to the girls in the state playoffs. 
That'll do it for us in the studio. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Teachers, thanks for taking time out of your classes to watch SCTV. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out our YouTube page for more content. I'm McKinley Litz Adlock. And I'm Ben Leach. See you next week. <laughs>